Now we go straight to the next. That's number 13. I'm starting with 13A. In the diagram, this is the diagram. This diagram was given in the question. In the, diag in the diagram, the radius of the sector of circle center O is 7 centimeters and angle MON is 60 degrees. Find correct to one decimal place the area of the shaded portion. Okay, this OP is the radius of a circle, O is the center of the circle, and angle MON is 60 degrees. Now they want us to find the area of the shaded portion. So, okay, since we already know that the radius of this sector is 7 centimeters, we can put the diagram inside, we can draw the diagram inside the circle. Now, this is the diagram. Yeah, I know that the center of a circle is O. Let this be the center of a circle. Let O be the center of a circle. That means this will be OP and this will be OM. This uh, this part OP, which is radius of a circle, is 7 centimeters. OM is also 7 centimeters because they are both radii. Now, this is going to be O O N, while this will be N T, and N T is perpendicular to O M, as shown in the diagram. This is center O. Now, this is the shaded area. This is the shaded portion. Yeah, that's the shaded portion whose area we want to find. Now we can see from here, and we also give an angle M O N. Angle M O N is 60 degrees. Now we can see that the area of the shaded portion, this area, is the same as the area of sector. Let's do that. The area of the shaded portion is the same as the area of sector M O N minus, minus the area of triangle O N T. That's it. Area of shaded portion is area of sector M O N, which is the sector, minus area of triangle M O T. If you subtract the area of triangle no M O T, triangle O N T, from the area of sector M O N, you get the area of the shaded portion. So that's what we're do now. Now let's go. What? Let me find the area of triangle, area of sector M O N first. I want to find the area of this sector. I want to find the area of sector M O N, which is this. This is the area of sector M O N. This is M, and this is the sector. This is the arc of the sector. M O N. This is seven centimeters because it's a radius. O N is a radius, and O M is also a radius. The angle of the sector subtended by the arc of the sector. The angle of the sector is 60 degrees. Yes. So, area of sector MON. Area of sector MON equals theta over 360 pi r squared times pi r squared. And that simply means this is M O N. That simply means 60, the angle of the sector is 60 degrees over 360 times pi was given as 22 over 7 times r squared. That's 7 times 7. And that simply means times 7 times 7. We can work that out. That simply means 6c times 22 times 7 times 7 divided by 360 divided by 7. And that's 25.66. Let me write that as 667 centimeters squared. Now, we found the area of, we found the area of the, we found the area of sector M O N. Now, how do we find the area of triangle O N T, which is this triangle? How do we find the area of this triangle? Because that's what I need to subtract 
from the area of Sector Moen to get the area of the shaded portion. How do I find the area of Triangle MOT? Triangle O N O N T, or you can say N O T. How do we do that? Now, okay, O N is also a radius. I know that. The question is actually simple if you take your time to understand it. O N is seven centimeter because it's also a radius. This is radius, this is radius, and this is also a radius. Yes, yeah, so now O N is seven centimeters. That means I can find O T. I can find O T. This length O T in triangle O N T. How do I do that? This is O N T. I'm bringing out the diagram so it will be clearer. This is right angle, this is the right angle triangle O N T. O N T. Now, this length is 7 centimeters and this angle is 60 degrees. In the diagram angle, N O T is 60 degrees. Now, how do I find O T? I want to find length O T. This is O. How do I find length O T? To find length O T, I can say cos 60. Cos 60 degrees equals adjacent, which is O T, over hypotenuse, which is O N. And that simply means cos. 60 degrees equals OT over I know that ON is 7 centimeters so when I cross multiply length OT will be equal to 7 times cos 60 degrees and that's the same as let's check that 7 cos 60 7 cos 60 and that's 3.5 centimeters now that I know the length OT, then I can find the area of triangle ONT. Yes, so I can now say area of, maybe I should sketch that first. This is the right angle triangle ONT. ONT. This is 60 degrees. This is 7 centimeters and this is 3.5 centimeters. So I can now find its area. Area of triangle ONT is equal to AB sin theta. When two angles of a triangle, when two sides of a triangle are given and the angle contained by those two sides, then you can use the formula AB sin theta to find the half a b sin theta to find the area of the triangle so i know this length and this length and this is the angle in between them so that means area of triangle o n t is half a b sin theta which is half times seven times 3.5 times sine 60 degrees and that's going to be let's do that 7 times 3.5 times sine 60 degrees divided by 2. Oh, I did 7 plus instead of 7 times 3.5 times sine 60 degrees divided by 2 is equal to that's 10.608 centimeter squared. So now if you go back to the question, uh, let me bring the question down. This is the original. This is the ori original question. That's the original question. Shaded area. I can now say therefore area of shaded portion. equals area of shaded portion equals area area of triangle M O N minus area of triangle O N T which is equal to area of triangle M O N is 
points Eric Agogo is twenty five point six six seven that's equal to twenty five point six 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 seven minus a lot of jungle O N T is ten point six zero eight eight minus ten point six zero eight eight and that's equal to twenty five point six six seven twenty five point six 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 seven minus ten point minus ten point six zero eight eight I didn't do that one. Twenty five point six 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 seven minus ten point six zero eight eight. That's equal to fifteen point zero five seven nine centimeters squared. And this I should give an answer correct to one decimal place. And that's fifteen point one centimeter squared to one decimal place. And that's the answer very 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 simply all right thank you very much and i'll catch you in the next